Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler along with my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Tonight, we've got cold and rainy weather for this game between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Georgia Bulldogs. We're set to bring you the annual event known as Clean Old Fashioned Hate. And they couldn't have come up with a better name as these two schools have little affinity for each other. And here come the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs come into this game expecting a win. I tend to agree with that. How about you, Herbie? Georgia should be big on defense today, and it all starts up front. This impressive young man is very athletic for his size. Look for him to be very disruptive to help his team to a victory today. Oh, Kirk. There's a chance I might even agree with you on this one. I've got to go with Georgia. Number 16, fields it at the one. Your boot. It could be a long day for this left tackle as he takes on the challenge of blocking this animal at defensive end. We're going to have the opportunity to see a guy who can really create problems by getting to the quarterback. And something tells me he's going to be getting to that quarterback a lot today. He's not exactly going against the best left tackle in the history of football. And that one's fallen incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Georgia lines up with the power eye set. On the ground with the tailback. Oh, what a move. Tackle. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard gain on the play. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 27-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. And they got it. Somebody came free there. Yeah, the linebacker shot through and nobody picked him up. He was all over. He wasn't letting the quarterback get anywhere. Lining up the punt. Number 95 gets it off. Number 9 fields it to the 39. He spins. This is a great opportunity here for the offense to try to get an early lead on this first drive. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. Come out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. And it's caught. And he's tackled. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Georgia Tech lines up with three receivers. He drops back. He has some room. Looks like he's going to run. And they make the stop. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First and 10. Ball on the 44. Throws to the middle. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. And this could be a big return. 
at the 40, inside the 30. Goodbye. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that could happen. And now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs. on the extra point. With about three minutes to play remaining here in the first quarter, our score, Georgia, seven. Georgia Tech, nothing. Ready to kick. Number two, back eight, two, two. Sends it sailing downfield. Number 89 fields it in the end zone. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing the pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't a timid. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? Well, as you know, a quarterback needs a short memory. So I really don't remember, Scooter. You know that, right? <laughs> they come out with three wide receivers. to pass. Wants to throw outside. And it falls incomplete. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Number one comes to the line with three wide. Steps up in the pocket, throws it out there, complete, and down he goes. A yard, if even that, on the play-action pass. Now it's third and nine coming up, all on their own 21. Georgia Tech lines up in a shotgun set, drops back to pass. He steps up, looks, comes across the middle. It's deflected. Well, the defense did all there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. The Yellow Jackets are lining up to punt it away. Number 86 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 29 takes it to 33. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 45. They come out with three wide receivers. And he's taken down. Not much there, maybe a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 46. The Bulldogs go with the I formation. There's a play fake. Let's it go. Couldn't haul it in. Third and nine. Ball on the 46. 46 yard line. 
They'll bring in their dive package. Steps up. He's looking. He's looking down the middle. Incomplete. You got to keep it under control. That's some nice arm strength, but it doesn't matter if it's not on target. You're absolutely right, Coach. You have to be accurate on those type of passes. The Bulldogs are lining up to punt it away. Plenty of hang time on this one. Number nine fields it at the 18. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. The Yellow Jackets come out in the ace formation. with a sack. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. It's second down now. 14 to go. Ball in the 14. The Yellow Jackets come out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throw short. And it's caught. And they make the stop. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No game on the play. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 14. The Yellow Jackets come out showing three wide. Steps up in the pocket, looking. Deep pass down the right side. Is it too high? No, he got it! What an amazing catch, first down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big time play there. A spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. First and ten. Ball on the 41. High formation here. They go with the run. Sheds that one. And down he goes. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Gain of six on the play. Second and four. This is the fifth play of this drive. Georgia Tech comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. He steps up. Wants to throw outside. Got it. And he's all the way down to the one. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he booked that one in? Well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. Brought down. They'll give him an inch or two, if that. No game on the court. After a quarter of play, our score is Georgia, seven. Georgia Tech, nothing. Jumbo set here. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. So he's sacked by the fifth year senior at defensive end. Not an easy thing to have to block this guy for four quarters. Yeah, quite honestly, I don't know if it can be done. It's power 
football time, folks. tailback can't wrap him up with the spin and they make the stop nothing going on that one number 87 into attempt the short field goal the kick is up and it is good and now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. They're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number 20 fields at the goal line. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll start this drive at the 21. They'll work from the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. He's got it. And he's taken down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number three is back in the gun. It's a direct snap. He jukes. He's got an opening. Gets past the tackler. Past the 40. Tackle. And they come up huge on that play. Oh, he sure did. He's a tough guy and always seems to have a little extra when he needs it. First and ten. Ball on the 38. Georgia comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Nice play fake. Throw. Complete. And down he goes. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yep, just a wasted play right there. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. Power eye set. They'll run the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, he's right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. Third and 11. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. He's going left. And it's the tight end. And he's tackled. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. It's first and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Georgia lines up in a double tight set. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. It falls incomplete. So it's second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. They'll line up in the power eye. Big dog, big dog. Here's an option, right side. 
He spins around, and they hit him in the backfield. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Georgia lines up with three receivers. Steps up, looks, throws it to the outside. He brings it down. Touchdown. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field out there. on the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Georgia 14, Georgia Tech 3. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. Number 89 and number two back ready to return. He sends this one deep. Number two fields it in the end zone. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. They'll go to work at the 20. Number one comes to the line with three wide. Drop in for a loss. Georgia Tech holds a timeout. Two minutes to go in the half. One man backfield. He drops back over the middle. And it's caught. Tackle. Georgia takes a timeout. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on their own 18. This offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Pullback on the inside here. Brought down. Georgia calls a timeout. They send out the punting unit. Gets it away. Number 29 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 35. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll set up shot at the 35-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle, he has some room. They'll bring him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. This is when the impact player and tight end can make plays. 
They connect again. And he's tackled. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. Number three. Lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. Got his man. Tackle. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Defensive end is in the zone. Back to pass. And now he's going to run. And he's taken down. And the impact player at tight end is in the zone. He drops back. And he's stopped behind the line. Field goal. This should be a chip shot. Georgia takes a timeout. into attempt the short field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. is lined up to kick this one off. He boots it deep downfield. Number 89 fields it in the end zone. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Georgia 17, Georgia Tech 3. Ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Number two, back to return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 89 fields it in the end zone. He made the tackle, but I think he got a little help from his face mask. Let's check with the referee. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Thought we might see a personal foul there, but the referee thought differently. He didn't try to rip his helmet off, so it's only going to be a five-yard. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. Number one comes to the line with three wide. Over the middle. Got him on the run. They'll bring him down. 
I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10, ball on the 44. They line up in an eye. And he's tackled. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. No gain on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Yellow Jackets line up in an eye formation. Defense running them down. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 37-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Looks like he's going to run. And down he goes. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. They line up to pump this one away. Punts the ball away. Number 29, field number 24. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 37-yard line. High formation here. Back to pass. Rolling out to the left side. He tosses it short, and he's taken down. That's a three-yard pickup. Three-yard gain on the play. Second and seven. Ball on their own 40. The Bulldogs set up in the gun. the middle it's dropped this incompletion is credited to the wide end. absolutely a quarterback executed his end of the deal it's third down and seven to go ball on the 40 yard line high formation here Here comes the pressure, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. They brought the corner, and he got the sack, fellas. Yeah, great call in this situation. This one away. He gets it away. Number nine fields it at the 22. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and ten. Ball on their own 26. Georgia Tech lines up with three receivers. Wants to throw outside. Complete, and he's on the run. He looks to be hurt down there. Right. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. He drops back. He rolls out to the right. He's going left. Pass in daylight. The 10. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. the PAT and just over two minutes left here in the third the score is Georgia 17 Georgia Tech 10 it off. Number 16 takes it at the four. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll go to work at the 24-yard line. The Bulldogs go with the I formation. They're going to pitch it across the middle. His receiver has it, and he's tackled. I don't think anyone saw that one coming, especially the defense, and that trick play goes for a huge game. First and 10, ball right around midfield. They line up with trips to the right. They'll throw on first down. He takes off. Jed's a tackler. Tackle. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Georgia lines up in a shotgun set. Knocked out of bounds. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go in the air, my friend. Over the top. First and 10. Ball on the 24. The Bulldog line up with three wide. Keep it on the ground again. And he's tackled. A two-yard run by the halfback. Number 28 on the run. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Georgia sets up in the eye. He's going to throw. The ball is tipped. They weren't fooled there, and they were in great position to knock the pass away. Third and eight, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Georgia lines up in the power eye set. Here's the option. He laterals the ball. 
and he's taken down. And he just made it past the first down line. Boy, big play there, Brad, on third down. Good job of running the football there. Kirk, of course it always helps, doesn't it, if you got some good blocking up front? The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice red zone, when performance matters the most. They line up in an eye. Another run. Spins upfield. And down he goes. Five yards. bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Georgia 17, Georgia Tech 10. Georgia lines up with three receivers. Touchdown, Bulldogs! The fullback got loose and found the end zone. Look at the big fella. He can do a lot more than just block out there. like they're ready for the kick. He hits a booming kick. Number 89 fields it in the end zone. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll start this drive at the 21. Georgia Tech comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. With the throw, and he can't make the catch. The pass was right there, just couldn't be controlled. This tight end some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 21. One man back to you. Setting up the play action. He keeps it. And they make the stop. He scrambles and picks up five. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 26. Georgia Tech lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Looking. Down the middle. He's got it. And he's taken down. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Yellow Jack come out in the ace formation. Here's a counter play, and down he goes. Couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Gain of two on the play. Georgia.
Georgia Tech. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looks. He's going right, and it falls incomplete. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The student section's going crazy. Back to pass. Throws it deep downfield. It's deflected. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. They come out in a nickel. Here we go. Wants to throw outside. Got it. And he's taken down. How crazy was that pass play, Coach? Man, let me tell you guys something. I'm still shaking my head on that one. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. Brought down. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. The Yellow Jackets line up in an eye formation. Over the middle. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into season-ending ones. the PAT. Here's the Pontiac Drive Summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. This one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Number 16 fields it in the end zone. And we see this offense again after what you Kirk called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Three wideouts here. Up the middle with the fullback. Makes a move. And they make the stop. And the fullback busts through for about seven yards. It's second down and three to go. Ball right around midfield. Right now, the tight end is in the zone. They'll run the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. What do we have, Lee? We have sack number four today. This defense came to play, and I love it. Third down and 
three coming up. Ball on the 50. The Bulldogs go with the eye formation. They go with the option. Laterals back. And he's tackled. Georgia Tech calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 44. with five defensive linemen. Spin move. They'll bring him down. Georgia Tech takes a timeout. Timeout called by the defense. It's second down and nine to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Georgia sets up in the eye. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. And the defensive end is looking to make a play. He drops back, throws it to the outside. He makes a diving catch. Georgia Tech calls a timeout. And 10. This is the seventh play of this drive. Georgia is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. And he takes a knee. Second down and 12 to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They come out in a goal line set. They hand it off. And they make the stop. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. They'll line up in the power eye. He jukes him. They'll bring him down, and that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running room. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? Georgia comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2006. We hope you all join us again. Again, our final score, Georgia 24, Georgia Tech 17.